Hello everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. It's a quite still, quite grey and lovely afternoon to be out on the beach. So we're, we're, we're videoing on a Friday for you for this week's Vlog with a View which of course is our wander around a local beach and a discussion about something topical, something seasidey or something to do with the file coast. Because Sundays are special days, aren't they? Sundays are different. So if you're a new new viewer and you've just stumbled on this, don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed and you've hit that little bell. <clears throat> loads of great content, loads of different things coming up and all kinds of things for you to watch. Keep you entertained while we get to the end of lockdown. So today's is a bit of a what do you think and why do we always come in for a kick in? type of a type of a vlog because you probably saw on the national news reported at the end of February so to last weekish that Blackpool had been named as the lowest score and the unhealthiest place in the country in a in a survey so I'll just turn around and we'll have a look along the beach to the great metropolis of Blackpool because it's some I've just been talking to somebody who informed me that the reason why everything is so clear is because it's quite high pressure which I didn't know but now I've, I've learnt something else but you can see Blackpool in the distance there it is looking looking as gorgeous as ever on the on the shoreline that metal thing in the sea is Mary's shell that's a piece of public art and if I just turn slightly to the right that is Snowdonia, I've just been told. Well, 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 because you can often see whales from here, which is quite astonishing. And then across all these acres of grey sea, which all look much of a muchness, at the other side of the horizon, that the other bump that we've been looking at is the Lake District. So that's your, that's your guided tour. And now back to the back to the subject in hand. Apparently, the Office for National Statistics and a financial company called Lane Clark and Peacock, who I have never heard of, did this piece of research. And the reason that they did it was because ministers had asked statisticians if they would assess the health of the nation in a bid to measure the effects of government policy. So off they went and they crunched the numbers and they scratched their heads and all the rest of it um, and went away and did this piece of research. So they looked at 149 local authority areas um, and, and kind of went through them all and looked at them all on a, on a sort of a graded scale. I'm just, we're not actually going to walk into the wall here. We're going through the gap. Mind the gap. So in order to do this, they um, combine different health factors like um, dementia and cancer and alcohol misuse and adult obesity and all that kind of thing. So they looked at a, a broad range of factors and then they crunched the numbers and they came out with this graded score. Now, I'm not sure how many points were kind of full points. Excuse me while I just pick this shell up. I can't walk past that, I'm sorry. Look at that, it's a right little pretty one, isn't that lovely? Um, yeah, so they, they, they graded everybody and put everybody in, in order on this score. And apparently Blackpool came out at the bottom with 86.4. Now I'm not sure whether that's 86.4 out of 120 or 86.4 out of 500, they didn't actually say that, um, but Walkingham, and apologies anybody that lives in Walkingham, but I have no idea where Walkingham is, came out with the top score of 110. So that was declared the healthiest place. So poor old Blackpool, and then I looked at it and I thought, well, if we've got 86.4 and Walkingham is the best with 110, it's not really that far away. 
And how many points were they marking it on? So that's kind of that's kind of the background for the 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 setting, as it were. And then, of course, once again, you've got all these headlines saying Blackpool is the unhealthiest place in the country. And yeah, we all know that we've got some quite unhealthy pockets of deprivation along the failed coast, not just in Blackpool, but show me a town which is not. Because it's, you know, it's the nature of the beast, it's what life is. Some people are dealt a better hand in life and some people are frankly not. And some of us make better choices and some of us don't. So what do you think? Do you think... I mean, obviously, if you don't live in Blackpool, you're perhaps not entirely qualified to comment. But plenty of people visit it. Do you think it's the unhealthiest place in in the country? And they give you kind of the headline. They give you the half a story. And they don't quantify it and tell you whether things were weighted in a particular way or whether there's any particular... Um, factors that they're taking into account and and frankly I think we get quite fed up in Blackpool of being worse for this, worse for that worse for this, worse for that because it's not Blackpool's an amazing place and I think it's time that Blackpool got put at the top of the list and was, was recognised for what a fantastic quality of life you get I mean, look at this. All right, I'm in Cleveland, but I'm only, I'm only a couple of miles down the, down the coast. I mean, the, the, the boundary between Cleveland and Blackpool is literally just a few, few hundred yards that way. So I'm not quite in Blackpool. And if you, if you live in this town, you've got such a lot to take advantage of, such a lot on your doorstep. And, I, well, I, I just think it's unfair. And when they do news reports on television and they go to the worst... I mean, they do it everywhere, don't they? They go to the worst street that they can find and stand there and make it look like it's, you know, wherever it is, is awful. I bet they could do the same with walking them if they tried. So that's my... That's my rant for today. I think I think we ought to find some statistics that prove that Blackpool is the best place for this, that and the other. Don't know whether you agree. So what do you think? Leave us a comment below and uh, we'll have our usual weekend chat over a, a walk on the beach and a, and a paddle. I'm trying to get the sand off my wellies. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a lovely day now and we will see you on Monday from a, a, a grey but lovely beach we'll see you later don't forget to subscribe bye for now